Hello grade 8 American system, this is your English teacher Miss Maria. Today's lesson is reading. The lady or the tiger? First, set the purpose for reading. Read the lady or the tiger to find out how a man faced with a very difficult decision makes a choice. Let's start with text analysis. What is tone? Writers often express an attitude or tone towards the subject, setting, or characters they're writing about. A tone can often be described with one word, such as angry, proud, or playful. As you read, look for words and details that help you understand how the writer feels about his topic. Here are some questions to ask yourself about tone. Do his descriptions of the characters suggest whether he thinks they're smart, foolish, kind, or cruel? Does the description of the setting show that he admires the society's customs? Does his language show that he takes the plot event seriously or not? Take a look at these two paintings. In this painting, how does the artist feel about Napoleon? Now take a look at this painting. How does its artist feel about Napoleon? The two artists show their different feelings about Napoleon through tone. Tone means the way artists or writers feel about their subject. So, like painting, writing also can have a tone. What tone does this passage have? Why do you think it has that tone? Next, reading strategy. Paraphrase. One way to understand what you read is to paraphrase it. Or, restate the writer's language in your own words. To paraphrase, first identify the main ideas and determine the meaning of any unfamiliar words. Then, restate the ideas and details in your own words. Now let's practice. Open your book on page 336. Line numbers 1 to 4. In the very olden times, there lived a semi-barbaric king whose ideas, through somewhat polished and sharpened by the progressiveness of distant Latin neighbors, were still large, florid, and untrammeled as became the half of him which was barbaric. Let's paraphrase it. Long ago, there lived a rough, cruel king. He had been influenced by forward-thinking cultures, but he was still uncivilized.